The Midwife's Apprentice is a 1995 young adult novel by Karen Cushman. It tells of a street orphan named Alice, who eventually becomes a midwife's apprentice, and finds a place for herself in her medieval society. It is in many ways a classic coming-of-age story, or Bildungsroman. The novel begins with a young orphan girl, known as Brat, curled up atop a dung heap. Brat is woken from her sleep by a small band of boys, who tease and mock her. They are sent away by Jane, the town midwife, who also shoes away the girl. Brat manages to convince the midwife to let her work for food. Jane calls the girl Beetle. Brat refers to Jane as a Jane Sharp, for her sharp nose and glance, but stands in awe of her midwifery skills, which she thinks are a sort of magic. Jane is often rough with Beetle, but Beetle doesn't believe she deserves any better, as a former street urchin, her life has always been hard, and she can't imagine it any other way. Beetle begins to assist Jane by toting her supplies to her clients' homes. Although Jane is not explicitly training Beetle to be a midwife, and bars her from the birthing room, Beetle picks up many things about the craft by watching from the shadows, sometimes literally. One day Jane sprains her ankle, rendering her unable to run errands or work. Beetle goes to St. Swithin's Day Fair for her, to purchase needed supplies, and while there is complimented by one of the merchants. He gives her a carved comb as a gift. Beetle is surprised by the attention and the gift, she has never received this kind of attention before. On her way home from the fair, a man mistakes her for a girl named Alice. Alice is described as a girl who can read, which shocks Beetle, who has never considered that she might appear intelligent enough to know how to read. Beetle resolves to take the name Alice for herself, the moment is significant as it represents the former Beetle's first major step into selfhood, choosing her own name, after a lifetime of simply accepting the names that others have called her. Alice has a difficult time getting others in her village to call her by her new name, however. The boys, in particular, continue to tease her. One day, Alice has the opportunity to help one of the boys, a red-headed boy named Will. At great risk to herself, Alice saves him from drowning in a river. Doing so, she earns his admiration, and they become friends. Alice also begins to be more respected by the villagers, and one day is able to deliver a baby on her own. This fills Alice with pride, but angers Jane, who isn't keen on the competition. Later, a mother in labor asks for Alice's help during her birth, but despite her efforts, Alice is unable to ease the birth. Defeated, she calls on Jane, who is able to deliver the baby without any problem. Alice is humiliated, and her fledgling self-esteem crumbles. Collecting her pet cat, Purr, which she earlier saved from near death, Alice runs away from the village and Jane. Alice comes to an inn run by John and Janet Dark, and asks to work for them in exchange for lodging, and they agree. The Darks are impressed with Alice's work ethic, Alice herself, however, is unsatisfied. She hasn't forgiven herself for failing as a midwife. She lives her days in a melancholy daze. But one day, a scholar named Magister Reese comes to stay at the inn. He can read and write, which entrances Alice, but also intimidates her. She frequently watches Magister Reese from afar, but is too shy to approach him. Reese, however, realizes the reason for Alice's shyness and her interest in him. He begins to hold lessons for Purr on how to read and write, knowing that over his shoulder, Alice is paying attention. Soon, she is able to read. After some time, Jane comes to the inn. Alice is afraid to hear from Jane, but to her surprise, Jane does not consider her a failure. Rather, she chastises Alice for giving up when faced with difficulty and running from her problems. Jane departs. Not long after, on a stormy night, a man and his pregnant wife arrive at the inn. The woman goes into labor, and Alice, with great trepidation, offers her services to the couple, helping to deliver a healthy baby boy. This attracts much positive attention to Alice and employment offers, but she realizes that what she wants most is to return to Jane and become an official midwife's apprentice. Alice returns to Jane's house and entreats Jane to take her in again, but Jane turns her away. Realizing that she is being tested, Alice returns and declares to Jane that she has learned her lesson, and will no longer run from difficulty. Jane agrees to take her on as her apprentice. Cushman's novel is a rare young adult novel set in medieval times that not only focuses on a low-born female protagonist, but fully concerns itself with her world, the world of women's lives and women's work.
The Midwife's Apprentice was awarded the John Newberry Medal in 1996. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.